All right, guys, welcome back. John Cochran here. Today is System Saturday, the day that I bring you a system that I use inside of my business that you can rip off, duplicate, use right into your own local market. Now, I've got a really powerful one, uh, one of viewer's choice System Saturday Live uh, that I put on Facebook a, a couple of days ago, and it was a pretty dominant. I, I gave you guys, hey, do you want me to go out and show you a real deal that we're doing right now, or do you want me to go out and show you guys a probate deal that uh, or how to, how to go out there and get more probate deals. It was very, very dominant that you guys really wanted to hear the probate. And just like I told you guys weeks ago, I gave this show to you. That's why I'm doing this stuff. I want to be able to answer your questions. I want to be able to give you guys what you want on this show so that you, I can help you more inside of your real estate investing business. Okay. So today, what we're going to talk about is how to buy 40 plus probate deals a year completely for free. Now, you're not buying these properties for free, but you're not going to spend out any money to look for these properties at all. We have a very, very unique system, okay? It's a very unique system. It's a very big twist that we put on probate that nobody else does, which allows us to get a lot of probate deals that nobody else can get but you. Um, so why are probate deals, why are probate leads, why are they so good? Well, often these properties, they've got to be sold. They have to be sold in order to settle the estate. So there's no like, ah, the seller's kind of motivated. No, a lot of times these things have to be sold. I like these things because a lot of times these probate deals, you know, not all the time, but most of the time they don't even have a mortgage on them. Okay. They don't have a mortgage on these things. And a lot of times they don't even need that many updates and repairs onto these properties. A lot of times it's just very cosmetic things that you've got to do to a property. And, and I'm going to get into that, you know, in today's System Saturday live show. But most of these don't have a mortgage. Uh, most of these have to be sold. And most of these also, um, they don't need a massive amount of, of, of updates and repairs that they need. Now, a lot of them do though, okay? A lot of them are gonna need repairs. So don't think that, hey, John's gonna show me a system to where you know he's gonna get me all these probate deals. I don't have to pay anything for these leads. And then all of a sudden, these deals are like already fixed up and you're gonna get them at discounts. That's not gonna be the case. But these are great wholesale deals, great phenomenal wholesale deals. Um, and this is a system that we've used inside of our business to take you know, and, and find great deals for free, getting our hands on properties that nobody else can get on uh, these properties except for us and be able to increase our spreads into our wholesale deals very, very easily, okay? So that's why these probate deals are so good, but you gotta have a better system than what others are using right now. Now, I'm just gonna be point blank with you, okay? This is why this system works so well, is I personally believe because of the system that we use, that other investors are attacking probate so wrong. I mean, just so wrong. They're just doing this so wrong. So if you look at this, 99% of investors, what they do is they will, you know, whether they buy a list or go, you know, to a courthouse and they compile a list themselves, they're going out there and compiling a list of all of the homes that are in probate. That's what they do. And then what they do is they'll send out direct mail to the heirs of those properties and they send out direct mail to those guys and they have a very, very low uh, response rate. When I did it, I had the same exact thing, a very, very low response rate. But see, that's what they do. But here's the problem with that, okay? You go out and you, you market to a property in probate, okay? So you market out to the heirs, that's what you have to do. You gotta market to them. Now, sometimes they're emotional about the properties and sometimes they're not. I mean, it, it just really, really depends on that situation. But here's the problem. When you market to that one house in probate, there's one house. That's it. There's one house in probate. So that's what I can't really wrap my head around on why investors are doing that system. They're, they're going out there and getting a probate list, whether they compile their, themselves or they buy it, they're getting that list and then they're sending out all of this direct mail, costing them all this money, but they're only going to be able to buy one property. See, I want to show you how you can buy 40 plus properties a year and not have to spend any of that money. Have to spend any of that money. So if that's a huge thing that you want to do, go out there and like this right now. And by the way, if you have not already liked this page, we do the System Saturday Live show every single Saturday at noon. Go and like this page, change your settings right now, 
to where you get notified every single time that I go live onto the show. Free tips, tricks, strategies, things that I do inside of my business that I give you right here so that you can go out there and execute these and make money through real estate. That's what we do on these shows. So if you have not already liked it, go out there and like this um, you know, right now. So what we do different is we will market, instead of going and doing, getting a probate list and going to one property, okay, going out there and getting one property, marketing to the heirs, and sometimes they're emotional, sometimes they're not, and just having that one property. See, what we do is we build relationships with probate attorneys. Now, there's two different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you both of the ways to do this, but we go out there and build relationships with probate attorneys because they do multiple cases. They have multiple houses, and they don't have any attachment with these properties, and they're the ones calling the shots. See, they get hired to settle the estate when somebody passes. That's what happens. They get hired to settle that estate. So a lot of times they're calling all the shots. They're the ones dealing with the heirs. They're the ones doing all that stuff. They know what they need to sell the property for. They know the property needs work. They know that it's outdated. They know that they're not going to get retail value out. They know all that stuff. So these probate attorneys need us. Now, before we even get into this, go into the chat box right now or into the comment box, but one of the most questions that I get, one of the highest questions that I get with this probate is, okay, I, I get it, John. You go after the probate attorneys. You build a relationship with the probate attorneys, and you don't have to pay for that lead, but how does that probate attorney get paid? Is that going through your head? Like, how does that probate attorney get paid? I've got to pay that probate attorney. No, that's not the way that it works, and that's why the system is so beautiful. You don't pay them any type of fee. You don't pay them that. See, when the estate, the estate settles, that probate attorney gets paid that way. You don't pay them as at all by going out there and buying these things. So that's why these probate attorneys, why they love to work with real estate investors so much is because they get paid when that estate settles. They don't want to fool with listing this thing up onto the market and having this thing sit on the market and all this other. They don't want to fool with any of that stuff. They would rather, rather have right into their pocket a cash buyer that's ready, they're willing, they're able to buy all of their cases that they do so that that attorney gets paid quicker because that estate is going to settle faster because they already have a built-in buyer, which is you. See where we're going with this? See, this is why this is so powerful rather than just getting a list and sending direct mail out and, and, and spending all this money. See, if you can go out and get a probate attorney or two or three that work 20 cases a year, and you can have that in with them, you see the benefit? See the benefit of that? If you can have five probate attorneys that each do 50 cases a year, look at what you got. You've got your hands in over 200 deals a year, and you didn't pay a penny for any of those leads. You didn't pay a penny for them. So you got the in on all the properties. You didn't pay anything for them. And your competition, they know nothing about any of these deals because you have the relationship with the probate attorney and they're going to you first. So how do we get to the probate attorney? How do we go out there and we get to this probate attorney? Very, very simple, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you here online and I'm going to show you guys this system because it's very powerful. And then I'm going to even give you uh, the script possibly I'm even going to give you possibly the script on what to say to the probate attorney whenever you have that relationship with them. I'm going to show you how to build the relationship, and then I'm even going to give you the script, maybe, on what to say to these probate attorneys. So it's very, very simple, okay? Here's the probate system. Now, again, there's two different ways to do this system. The first way to go out and do this system is finding probate attorneys that you have no clue who they are. Right now, you're just, you're just doing some research. You're just trying to find out who the probate attorneys are that are doing cases right into your area. So what do you do? Simple, it's very simple. You do a Google search and you do your county state probate. That's all you're gonna Google. Montgomery County State of Ohio probate. So Montgomery County, Ohio probate or Hillsborough County, Florida probate, San Diego County, California probate. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to the probate courts website. It's going to be online. You're going to want to go to the probate courts website, 
Clark County, Nevada probate. And then you're going to want to find the probate uh, uh, website where all the cases are there, okay? Now, you're going to do a search, okay? And it's going to be different in all areas, but here's how you do it. You're going to do a search on that website, and this search is going to be very simple because you're not looking for the probate attorneys at this case or at this point. You're not going out there and looking for the homes that are in probate or anything like that. You're just going to do a search of all of the different cases going on right now. And in some areas, you might even have to guess case numbers. It just depends. It just depends, okay, in areas. But what you want to do is you want to do what's called a probate case search, and you're going to want to search all of the probate properties that are, or all the properties that are going through probate right now, right into your area. And you might be able to search for the past year or two years or whatever it is. And I don't care how long you search, because all we're looking to do is we're looking to just build a list of probate attorneys that are working on cases or that do cases. We're trying to find these five rock stars. We're trying to find these 10 attorneys into your area that works on probate, and we're trying to be their best friend. That's, that's exactly what we're trying to do with this. So you go and you do a probate case search right onto that website, search by date, go through that thing. This is going to show you all of the probate cases and the attorney that is handling that case with the attorney's full contact information. Again, I'm screaming as loud as I can to you guys on this, is that I don't want you to go out and, and, and write down the addresses or anything like this. We're just wanting to go through that list and find out all of the probate attorneys, and we're looking for the ones that do multiple cases. How many attorneys are going out there and doing two, three, five? How many, what, are, what are the attorneys that are doing um, these cases all of the time? And we're going to write those people down, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to contact those probate attorneys. That's the first way to do this. And that's going after probate attorneys you have no clue about. That's one approach to this. Now, the second approach to this could be even more powerful. But before I even tell you this, isn't this great information? I mean, go into the comment box right now and let me know. Is anybody else going on these Facebook Lives giving you this type of information? Is anybody else giving you this type of information in courses that you're buying online? Probably not. Probably not. So the second way to go out and do this probate is actually my favorite, okay? So this is my favorite. So the second system is very, very, very simple. So all you have to do is, let's think about it like this. If you were going to get, get sued right now, what would you do? What would you do? Are you going to go out and, <laughs> this is funny, but... It's the truth. If you're going to get sued right now, are you going to go and do a direct mail campaign and you're going to put these nice postcards together and you're going to do this direct mail campaign and send out to all of the, the, the attorneys in the area and just see which one's willing to take your case? No, you're not going to do that. Surely you're not going to do that. And see, that's what, that's what investors are doing when they're working probate is they are going and getting sued, if you will, and then they're doing direct mail to find out who their attorney is going to be. It's just what they do. No, if you're, if you're going to get sued and if you get served up right now with a lawsuit, what are you going to do? You're going to find out who in your network, who in your network do you know that might be an attorney or who in your network might you know that might be an attorney or who do you know in your network that might know of an attorney that could take on your case? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go and get an intro with that person through your relationship. So an example, you're going to get sued right now. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to start asking your friends and family who, they're, who they would recommend that you go through with as your attorney. They're going to go and recommend you people. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have your friend do an intro with you and that probate attorney giving you a warm in to that probate attorney. Well, this is no different what we're going to do with probate, but you're not going to get sued on this one, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go and ask the 10 closest people around you right now, friends, family, anybody that you have, the 10 closest people that you have around you right now, and you're just going to ask them who their attorney is. That's it. You're just going to ask them who their attorney is. 
You're not going to ask them who their probate attorney is because they're not dead yet, right? But you're going to ask them who their attorney is. And then what I want you to do, and again, I do not care if they do probate now or if they do not do probate. I do not care. I'm just going to go and get the in with an attorney. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that person, my friend or my family, book me an appointment with me, them, and that attorney. Maybe they're probate, maybe they're not, but we're all three going to go on that appointment. Now, why am I having that other person go on that appointment with me? Why am I doing that? It's very simple. The reason that I'm going to have that person go with me is because they're going to do that intro with that attorney, and that attorney is going to be warmer to me. They're going to be more receptive to what I'm doing because of the person that I know. See, their relationship got me in to this deal. That got me into that meeting. Their relationship did that. All the years that they've been building, all the beers that they've had, all of the stories that they've told each other, all the lawsuits that they've been in that they've paid for has now got me the end with an attorney. Now, maybe this is the right attorney and maybe it's not. I, I don't know. But if it's not and they know exactly what I'm doing and I'm going out there and I'm looking for probate deals, and then I've got cash into my pocket and I'm ready to buy probate deals. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to refer me to their friends. That attorney is now going to refer me to their friends, their buddies, or just people that they know that does probate. So from that one person, my friend or my family, that knew an attorney, got me that meeting. So all three of us got onto that meeting. And let's say that attorney was not what I was looking for. See, now they're going to get me to another probate attorney. And then maybe they'll go on to that meeting with me, but probably not. And now I can name drop this attorney and that attorney is going to be respon responsive to me. They're going to be warm to me because I name dropped that attorney that my friend or my family had that relationship with. It's the most powerful form of relationships that you will ever see, and it is a free source for doing deals, okay? That's why I love probate so much. So what you should do is you should go to the 10 closest people around you, friends and family and, and whatnot, and then what you should do is you should absolutely have those 10 people intro you to their attorney, get a meeting with those 10 attorneys, to get to your probate attorneys. And maybe they're the ones, maybe they're the ones that already have the deals that already work cases, or maybe they just need to refer you to somebody that does do those, those cases, okay? So with that said, that's how you find, there's two different systems for finding these probate attorneys. If you like those two systems, give us a like onto this video right now, because that's powerful. It's very, very powerful, okay? Now, now that you know the probate attorney, okay, now that you know who that probate attorney is, you got to call them. You got to call these guys because we got to get a list of all the cases that they're working on. Now, if you're interested into the script, I might give it to you at the end of this live. If you're interested in the script of what we say to these probate attorneys to get into that meeting, Comment below, let me know that you want it. If I start to see a lot of people wanting the script, I'll give you the script. If not, well, I won't give you the script, okay? So if you want the script, I have it. I have it of what we say to these guys to get us into this appointment. Just comment below, let me know that you would like that script and then I'll give you instructions on how to get it. If not, no big deal. No big deal, we'll keep it. We'll keep doing the system to ourselves. But what you're looking to do is you're just looking to book a face-to-face -face appointment with the attorney, okay? So for example, whether you go the, the, the route, one, uh, route one or route two, it doesn't really matter, but all you're looking to do is you're looking to get a, an, a, 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 uh, an appointment with that probate attorney. It's what that script that we've got is actually what to say to get that appointment, okay? So you book the face-to-face -face appointment with the probate attorney, and then it's very, very simple from here, okay? It's very simple from here. Because what you're going to do after you book the face-to-face -face appointment with this probate attorney 
is you're going to start looking. You need to know the cases that they're actively working on. What are they working on right now and what do they have coming up? They will gladly tell you. Even ask them if they're working with other real estate investors right now because I guarantee you they're going to tell you, no, they're not because they, they haven't thought outside the box and other investors are not doing this. They're not doing this. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to find out the cases that they're working on at that appointment. You're going to work, find out the cases that they're working on, find out the cases that they've got coming up or whatnot. You're going to find out they're going to give it to you in a list. It might be an Excel file list. It might be a list on paper that they have. It's probably going to be in a very unorganized fashion. That's just the way they work and that's fine. Okay. That's absolutely okay. Now, what you're going to do is once you look at that list and once you get a list of all the properties that or the cases that they're working on, you're going to find out, you're going to start cherry picking the ones that you want. Now, a lot of times the probate attorney is going to be the one that actually takes you out to the house and all that other stuff so that you can look at it. They might give you lockbox code to it. You have to might, you maybe have to uh, meet the heirs out there, whatever it is, but they're going to have access into that property. That attorney is going to have that access into that property. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to cherry pick all the deals that you want. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write an offer to that probate attorney. Okay. Just write a standard offer to that probate attorney. Hopefully you're using mine and Jeff Watson's wholesaling contracts on these things. They might use their own, but hopefully you're using ours um, on this entire thing. Okay. So you're going to uh, write up an offer with that probate attorney. And the probate attorney that you're working with, they're the one that has the power in these deals, believe it or not. They're the ones that have to uh, go out there and talk with uh, the heirs and, and divvy things out and everything else. They're the one talking the sense into the heirs. You know, when you got one that's, you know, just not coherent on any of this stuff, they're holding out because they want X dollars or whatever it is. They're the ones that deal with all that stuff. Okay, so they're going to take your offer to them or they're just going to submit your, your offer directly there and they're just going to be able to have the power to possibly even just say yes or no on that deal right there. So they'll, they'll have that, that power right there. So you submit the offer through the probate attorney, and then obviously it's a standard transaction from there. You submit the offer from, to the probate attorney, then obviously what you're going to do is you're going to put down great earnest money onto this property. You're going to put down earnest money, and then what you're going to do is you're going to close on that deal as normal. That's what you're going to do. Now, here's why I love these deals. Here's why I love these deals. I love these deals because these homes don't need much work. A lot of these properties, they might be trashed, um, you know, on the inside, meaning that they've got a lot of junk in there. But a lot of times the walls, the moldings and everything is just outdated. It's there's there's you know, you can just very cosmetically go in there and paint carpet, put some new windows in there, update the cabinets and whatnot. And, and you can uh, make great, great spreads on these things. So the homes don't need much work. Number one. The second thing is, is that a lot of these, again, are cosmetic repairs. They're just outdated properties a lot of the times. Some of the times they're not, though. Some of the times, you know, you need to go out and, and these things need everything. These things just need everything. Now, here's the other and the main reason why I love getting probate deals from probate attorneys, because these are the fattest wholesale profits that I've ever seen. How many of you guys would love... If you guys would love to go out there and get a $25,000 wholesale profit in the matter of like the next 30 days, raise your hand. Go and like this video. Go out there and like this live, right? Of course, of course you do. Of course you want to go out there and, and get a, a 25. That's absolutely possible. To, these are the fattest wholesale profits that I've ever seen in my business because of the way that you're going out there and getting them the way that I just taught you, Okay from the way that you do that. And, and that's, that's why I love to wholesale these deals. Now, do we, do we rehab these deals? You bet. You bet we rehab these things, but not all the time. If, if we can see that we make a 30,000, we're doing one right now where we make, we're making a $60,000 wholesale profit. It makes a lot of sense to wholesale that deal off. So you just kind of have to take it case by case basis. But at the end of the day, it's your call on what you want to do. But if you know the ins and outs of wholesaling, you can wholesale these deals very, very quickly for very fat profits, very fat profits. So here's some major takeaways that I want to give you guys for probate. Probate leads, one of the hottest leads that a real estate investor can get. It's also one of the most ignored leads that real estate investors don't do. 
and they put that, you know, they, they, most investors, they don't even do this system very right, okay? Do not go out there and market to the property and try to reach the heirs through direct mail. Building relationships with probate attorneys are by far the most powerful and, yep, they're free. You don't have to pay them. Remember, how do they get paid? When that estate settles. That's how the, the probate attorney gets paid is when that estate will settle, okay? Now, you're going to have more local probate attorneys in your area than what you think, period. I, I thought in my area, we might have 20, 30 probate attorneys. In our area, now, we have a small population, but we have over 500 probate attorneys in our area that work on these cases. So that's over 500 people that we could have the in with to go out and get these deals. And all I'm looking for is five. I need five people that do over 40 deals, a, uh, that do over 20 cases, 40 cases a year. And I know that I can make a killing as a real estate investor. And I didn't pay anything for the lead. It's called a relationship. I've, I've taught this stuff since 2015 and I absolutely love it. We've mastered relationships, mastered it, okay? Another big aha is, guys, focus on the probate attorney. Focus on building the relationship with the probate attorney and not going out there and, and getting a list, compiling a list, because it's the free route. It's the, you can't beat a relationship, period. You can't outmarket a relationship. It's just not going to happen. Now, when you implement this probate system, you're not going to have any competition on any of the deals that you got, period. And that's what we're all after in a market right now to where it's like, where's the inventory? I can't find it anywhere. The inventory is super, super low. Do this. Do this because your competition, the ones that are trying to buy properties, they're looking onto the MLS. They're doing the direct mail to the, to the probate, the heirs or whatnot. They're doing all that stuff. They're doing bandit signs and they're striking out left and right. They're not using the right systems for this market. They're not doing that. They're just not doing that. So when you implement this probate system, you're going to see magic start to happen. You're going to start to see magic happen. Now, I mentioned the probate script. It's one of the most important parts of getting this. So like, how do you get that appointment? What do you say to the probate attorneys, you know, in that meeting? How many of you guys want the script? How many of you guys want the script? Perfect. Now, if you guys want that script, it's gold. It's pure gold. It's took, it took me so long to put this script together and to say the right stuff to these probate attorneys because, quite honestly, at the very beginning, when I first started this, I was a little bit intimidated by them. I was. I was a little bit intimidated. But now we don't have to be because we've got the right script. We've got the right system, and we know exactly how to react to them and how to talk to them so that they can bring us deals. So here's what you can do. Okay, and we're going to pin this right up to the top. For the exact probate script that we use to get the in with the probate attorneys, and when we get the meeting with the probate attorneys, what in the world do we say with those probate attorneys? How do we get them in that meeting to turn into leads, deals? How do we get them to do that? What do we say to them in that meeting? And all you guys got to do is go to probatescript.com. And again, we're going to pin that right up to the top. So it's probatescript.com, probatescript.com, and I will give you that probate script that we use inside of our business. It's powerful. It's very, very powerful. So, guys, look at the way that you're, you know, doing deals. Look at the way that you're doing deals. Look at the way that you're attracting leads, okay? If, if, if you had to drop me, if you said, John, I'm going to drop you into any area in the entire United States, and I want you to do a deal within the next 30 days, this is the system that I would do, 100%. This is one of the systems that I would do, one of the top systems that I would do. There's, a, there's about four of them that I would do to get a deal in the next 30 days. This is one of the ones that I would do right here. So it's powerful. So guys, like this live right here, if you got value out of today, what would you guys like to know on current or on, on new System Saturday Lives, what would you like to know? Put that in, in there as well. See, we, my team and I, we go back and we read every single one of these comments. We look at every single like. We look at every single share because this show is for you. I already know this stuff. I already know this stuff. I developed all this stuff. This show is for you to give you value 
so that you can go out there and get more profits into your pocket. That's it. That's it. So go and like this live right now, share this live, comment below, and then you're going to want to go to probatescript.com in order to get the probate script so that you know what to say to these guys. And I will see you guys on future System Saturday Lives. I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.